Chicago had a most welcome visitor Thanksgiving week of 2013. Amtrak's Ocean View, the only dome car in Amtrak service, ran on trains between Chicago, Milwaukee, and St. Louis. Again, that dome car is located towards the center of the train. It's basically a sightseer car. Upstairs is Amtrak's only remaining full-length dome car. Please feel free to enjoy again that it's located towards the middle of the train. The beauty of a dome car, of course, is the 360 degree panoramic view. Makes even a flat and boring state like Illinois look pretty. Okay, the Republicans tell us that nobody rides Amtrak. These trains are running around empty all the time. Look at all these folks in Joliet waiting to get on our train. Joliet Union Station, beautiful old depot, built in 1912. Going across the Rock Island here. The Metro Joliet train there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, just board it here and have tickets out. I'll take us out. You did just board the train here, take us out. Killing oh. video cameras. <laughs> I'll video you if you video me. That's right. <laughs> So we're going to take a little cruise into the best car on the train, the Ocean View. That's my traveling compatriots. Hey Bill. Yes sir. What's going on man? What is going on? What's going on Suzanne? We're talking about Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they'll be discussing that for hours. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to show you the rest of the car here. It's <laughs> 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 Down below, we'll take you to the lounge area of the car. There's no way staffing it here now, but sometimes they have uh, food and beverage service here. Bet they're still talking about well, Sam. Well, we were talking about Glacier <laughs> Park, ready. actually. Oh, okay. Neil's ready. We were just saying that, you know, a lot of places like, say, Disney World or, or, or you know, Elvis's house in Memphis, uh, everybody goes there. But Glacier Park is a kind of place that, you know, uh, people go, hmm, I've never been there before. And particularly kind of the, uh, the uh, folks... Uh, the Dickwood types, if you will, you know, that, that kind of, you know, you're trying to, to tell them what you've been or where you've done, and, 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 and you know, they, they're, oh yeah, I've been there, oh yeah, I've been there, yeah, I've been there, and they say, oh, Glacier National Park, that's where I'm going next week. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I've never been there. That's wrong. <laughs> you can't have been somewhere I've done that, that I haven't been. Oh, yeah. And Glacier Park is a place like that where, you know, not everybody's been there. And that brings us to the car we are riding in, which is Amtrak 10031, the Ocean View. Now, this car was built in 1955 by the Bud Company, the finest builders of passenger cars ever. And as you can see, as Bill just showed you in the video, it's a full-length dome car. And uh, I think it had somewhere around 70 seats upstairs in that house. And it was built for the Great Northern Railway's Empire Builder, the Great Northern's premier train from Chicago to Seattle. And in 1955, of course, the Great Northern Empire Builder was equipped with dome cars. And in each train set, there were five sets of cars, and then the GM had 
six to have a spare cars. Uh, had four dome cars, three short dome cars, coach domes, and then it had the full length dome. This one was for first class passengers, and it has a bar downstairs. And uh, so there were six cars built. There were normally five train sets that ran between Chicago and Seattle. Ran from Chicago to St. Paul, uh, Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy. And then from St. Paul to Seattle, ran the Great Northern. And the uh, side trip from uh, Spokane to Portland, the cars that ran to Portland were run to Spokane, Portland, and Seattle. Okay, we're just south of Pontiac, Illinois right now. We can, we're in the siding here. You can see some of that awesome 110 mile an hour track structure next to us with concrete ties. We're meeting Amtrak train 302 here at South Pontiac. So we have Suzanne's fabulous chocolate chip cookies and alcohol and good friends. Cheers. And uh, successful trip and a great dome. Did we mention the great dome? We have a great dome. Bloomington, Bloomington, Illinois, the old Gulf Mobile and Ohio nice shops are here. Okay. Smile, Suzanne. <laughs> Departing Lincoln, Illinois. Hi. Do you know who Lincoln was? Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> All right. Very good. Oh, look at that dome building. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah, a county seat or something, I guess. Yeah. I want that. Oh, look, there he is. There's the fairies on the city. Hey, old downtown. You're not kidding. And then we have Old Joe's that serves Stroh's beer. I grew up in La Crosse, Wisconsin, and of course I grew up a few blocks away from the Burlington Main Line. So I watched the Empire Builder a lot when I was a kid. And obviously these passenger trains that I saw, because on the, on the Burlington in the 60s, not only did I see the Empire Builder, I saw the North Coast Limited and of course the Burlington's own twins efforts. So, you know, I was profoundly affected by this. It had a lot to do with my choice of career and my interest and so on. And, uh, of course, the Empire Builder being one of the trains, the Ocean View would have gone by regularly as one of those uh, five train sets of the Empire Builder. The thing is, that it's, it's cool to ride it today because uh, back in those days, uh, this was the first class lounge car. So, a coach passenger, it was easy to get into the dome cars, but you were probably riding in one of the uh, short domes, either the Burlington had their own cars, or if your ticket happened to be on the Empire Builder and North Coast Limited, you'd be riding one of the short domes there. And of course, that was no, no, no problem. That was beautiful. It was wonderful. It was terrific cars, but didn't really get a lot of time in the Great Dome, because if you tried to go back of the coach section, it's usually somebody would kind of just say, no. Is the first class. So, uh, that's why it's a uh, neat to ride in the ocean view. So, you know, I'd like to tell you, sure, I rode this car a lot back in the 60s, but not really. Didn't, uh, didn't spend very much time back there. Uh, so, that's why it's neat to be here. And having been on the trip a little bit earlier this year with Prairie View on the uh, High Iron Explorers trip, uh, definitely a good year for Great Domes. Springfield, Springfield, Illinois, home of Abraham Lincoln and uh, home of uh, the most crooked politicians in the United States. And there's the state capitol. Yes, where all the deals come down in Illinois. Of course, I say this with the cynicism of a lifelong Illinois resident. Indeed. Okay, folks, let me tell you what we had to go through to run uh, right on this train here. Uh, we knew, uh, I don't know, a few weeks ago that they were going to run the uh, Great Dome uh, between Chicago and Milwaukee Thanksgiving weekend with uh, a couple of trips down to St. Louis. So, uh, talked to NP about it and Suzanne, and uh, we scheduled this trip to uh, Alton, Illinois and back. And uh, anyway, that was supposed to be uh, happening today. Yesterday and today they were supposed to run to St. Louis and Milwaukee on the other days. 
Well, Thanksgiving uh, evening, things guy got crazy in Chicago, and they didn't take the car off the uh, uh, Milwaukee train, so it ran up to Milwaukee on uh, Friday. So I, of course, made the assumption that they were just going to do the same thing Saturday, so we canceled our reservations, Neil and I, and uh, made reservations to go up to Milwaukee instead. Don't forget, Bill, that Julie called you yes, and also sent you an email that it, this wasn't going to happen. What that you're was, seeing right here was according to official, officially Amtrak said, no, this will not happen. That's how we found out about it, actually, was uh, we got notified by Amtrak. So we changed our plans. And then, uh, Excuse me, guys. Certainly. And, uh, then uh, last night, I uh, found out. The next out. station stop will be Carlinville. Carlinville will be next Carlinville. Carlinville. Uh, so last night, I find out through uh, the rail fan information grapevine that, guess what? They are going to run to St. Louis uh, after all. So uh, this morning, we got down to Union Station and uh, once again canceled our reservations to Milwaukee and remade the reservations that we had canceled to Alton, Illinois. But you know what? We're here. We're on the Great Dome. I'm here with great friends. It is a beautiful thing. So, Suzanne, I understand this is your first trip on a dome car. It is. Yeah. What do you think about it? I'm enjoying the trip thoroughly. Uh -huh. Been to parts of Illinois that I've never seen before. A lot of farm-like uh, places. Went by the uh, state capital of Illinois, which is really cool. Tried to make it down to that spot when Obama was running for pres and I wanted to see him speak outside and never made it. So that was that was a cool thing. Uh, really enjoying just the view and the company and the farm fields and the open space. Might be boring to some, but I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Part of it for me is reminiscent of a trip I made with my grandmother and that I went on a train with my grandmother when I was 10 years old. And that was a really big trip for me and that, uh, number one, I didn't get away by myself at all. I was the oldest of uh, seven children, so I often was at home kind of stuck. So my trip with Grandma was kind of a coming-of-age trip, so very reminiscent of that. It's brought back some memories that are kind of emotional for me. Yeah. But really enjoying the trip and uh, totally relaxed. I think I had a glass of wine at 10.30 this morning. <laughs> All part of the fun and chocolate chip cookies, which I've decided to rename uh, the Great Dome Car Chocolate Chips. Suzanne Biggs, awesome chocolate chip cookies. Thank you. I don't know what I did to deserve her. <laughs> Certainly wasn't anything I did in this life. <laughs>